Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Gas Fest guys. Sorry guys, it's been a very long time. I was supposed to add videos every day, but uh, every once every week, but I have been busy packing as of current. And I'm currently uh, moving out of the house. Now, um, the topic for today is, is a gas mask even viable anymore? Now, I've been looking at lots of videos where they state that a gas mask is pretty much useless, that you should not invest in them, and in many ways they are correct. I cannot deny that. It's A gas mask can be a false sense of security if, one, the gas mask is the seal is broken, or two, you don't know how to use it properly. Think of it like wearing, well, everyone knows how to wear a helmet. Think of it as making spaghetti, no, everyone knows how to make spaghetti. Um. Think of it as making a specific recipe of some sort. Let's say there's a certain kind of fish that you're making. And to make it, you have to follow each step correctly. You have to prepare the fish correctly, and it has to be cooked at a certain temperature to make it just right. Let's just say it's something like that, like um, puffer fish. No, um, what's it called? Toadfish? Toadfish? Um, porcupine fish? I forget. But yes, they are the most poisonous fish in the world, and lots of people die from eating it if it's not prepared correctly. Think of it that way. And there's construction next door, naturally. Anyway, back to it. So you're cooking this pork pond fish and you do something wrong, you're gonna die. Here's a good example. Let's look at this M40 right here. Now it's a, it's a modern, yeah, it's considered a modern gas mask. It's recently been outdated, but I reckon they still use it for training to this date. But all it takes is this to be slightly broken or maybe a crack on the side of the visor, or even cracks in the rubber. Now, you won't find cracks in rubber on M40s just yet, but you'll see them on other masks. That's all it takes to kill you. Therefore, yes, a gas mask can be a false sense of security, and a gas mask can be a not viable option. It can be something that will actually get you killed. So, the way around this is pretty simple. All you got to do is take care of your gas mask, or stay updated. Just buy newer masks. But yes, in many ways they are correct. A gas mask is not viable. Now my personal opinion is this. Gas masks are viable, but only if done correctly. Now in this case, looking at the M40 still, I don't have any of my Soviet gas masks unpacked. Unfortunately, I've had to pack them all. But I'll have a few more come in soon from overseas. If you're wearing a Soviet helmet style gas mask, such as the gas mask piece from the GP5 kit, uh, let's say it's a size too big, there's going to be a lot of airways, uh, how do I say, it? there's not no proper seal, so therefore you'll be inhaling the toxins around you, which is really bad. But so long as you've got something that works, for example, let's say you buy an M40 or you buy a... Uh, a newer mask, like a Scott Pro. Let me grab the Scott Pro 2000. One moment. Just grab the Scott Pro. There you go. If you grab one of these bad boys with a brand new filter, it has to be new. If it's if, an old, if it's an old one, there's always a chance or risk of it having leaks. You'd be able to defend yourself. Now, another thing that's a misconception by many gas maskers or many new people who collect gas masks. They believe that, oh, I have gas mask. I will be safe because I have gas masks. I can stay in the contaminated zone. That's a big no-no. As soon as there is an event of chemicals or toxins or NBC elements floating through the air, the gas mask is actually more designed to get you out of the situation, to get you out of the area of hazard safely. Literally, what it's designed to do is to give you more time to get the heck out of Dodge. And that's... Like I said, another big misconception. There's a bit of garbage here. Ignore that. It's another misconception by gas mask collectors, especially the new ones, which I actually should put that into a hazard video because being a noob and being brand new to this can be just as dangerous as a gas mask with a faulty filter or asbestos line filter. It can be just as dangerous because not knowing how to use the equipment will get you killed. And... This has always been evident. However, that's why the Soviet Union was quite interesting how they... Actually, no, sorry. Every country from the Cold War... I want to say every country. I could be wrong. Every country at some point within the last century 
taught their people how to use a gas mask in schools, at uh, community centers, which was smart because if they know how to use it, they can teach someone else how to use it, and therefore both the people who are using their gas masks are safe. Now, in this era, and it's debatable who teaches who nowadays, uh, more or less you probably watched a YouTube video teaching you how to put it on correctly, and you just got to make sure that's the correct way. Um, if it isn't, you could be setting yourself up for catastrophe. So that is another way that makes gas masks not viable for defense or protection. And then a third point is the filter. I shouldn't say third. I'm just kind of... This is more of a rant, really. It's probably just going to be a 10-minute video of me just talking about stuff. But a big other issue is filters. Now, filters, you don't know what you're getting. Like, you can buy a new one from another country, but it might not even protect you. Especially some of the newer ones that are out there that are civilian-made. They're good. They're safe to use. But they might not be designed for the chemical you're going up against. So... Make sure you double check everything. This will help your gas mask be more safer to use in such a situation. And also, be careful of anything made before 2000. It's most likely to have asbestos in it. That's just the rule nowadays. When I was a rookie, I didn't know. So, yeah, just be careful. Anyway...